Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, bringing you an update what's going on at the garage. So, 1966 Chevy Corvair. It is the Monza 110. This is a really nice car. It is a beautiful driver, and look at that interior. How sweet is that? That is so cool looking. I absolutely love this car. We just got her in. She um, came off of the truck, the tow truck, not running. The gentleman just bought it not too long ago, and it has just been sitting for the past two years. They brought it to another shop, but the other shop couldn't get it fixed, so he called us up and he asked us, do we know anything about Corvairs? And I said, heck yeah, can't wait to get working on it. And it is in such good condition underneath. Body and paint, eh, they're not that bad. They're okay. It's, it's a nice driver. But the undercarriage of this car is beautiful. And look at this. In the back is... Look, they put it in the wrong place. It's in the back. <laughs> there it is. The six-cylinder uh, Pancake 6. These things are so cool. As you can see, we started working on it, taking a look at everything, checking everything. We're going to get rid of the points. We're going to do a full tune-up on this thing, get everything working right. We're going to do a little bit of wiring on it. Um, we're also going to do a front disc brake conversion on it because we already have taken the drums off and checked everything out and the owner it's his wife's car she wants it to stop better she says it stops like cr like crap so she would like us to do a disc brake conversion on it so we said no problem but we took the drum off and the first thing we found is this broken spring here you can see how the end is all broken off um, and then if you look in the drum Whoever owned this car, you can see all in the drum. See all those scratch marks along the outside right there? That's that spring bouncing around in there. And that's probably part of the reason that the car wasn't stopping very well. So we're going to take care of all that, get everything all fixed up. If you give me a second, I'll put the car up in the air and I'll show you how nice the undercarriage on this thing is. I mean, the interior, the undercarriage, this car is nice. I can't wait till we can get it started and listen to the motor. Because if it's true, this car only has 60,000 on it. So this motor should be in pretty good condition. Um, everything we've seen so far is original to the car. Uh, so we're going to see what's going on under there. So give me a second. I'll be right back and I'll show you the undercarriage. 